Welcome to part one of the speed tutorial series for the AI update in Emerge NYC. So the first thing to note is units will automatically respond if they're spawned in and they are on the ticket for the run. You can see the ticket on the blue MDT screen that pops up whenever a call comes in. If they're on that first line, if their unit number is on that line, they'll automatically respond to whatever call it is. So the idea of this speed tutorial series is just to get you quickly acquainted with everything so that you can hop right in and start to enjoy the new features. So let's get started. So first thing to know is you can select units or members by clicking and dragging the mouse. Whatever unit or members are inside that rectangle will be selected. Another method of selecting a unit is using the list next to the minimap. Any unit that spawned will show up here and you can click and drag to move up and down. You can also click the unit and it will select that unit. You have several options. You have move to which will allow you to manually place where you want the vehicle to go to. This go to unit button will teleport the camera to the unit and follow it whether it's a member or a vehicle. You can direct control any vehicle while it's responding or at any time. You can send the unit home with that button. Toggle the emergency lights on and off with this button. Change the vehicle's responding speed. The rapid deploy button, uh, we'll go over that in the engine company operations. You can cancel the response, toggle scene lights, empty the vehicle of any members inside of it. We have a deck gun option we'll go over later. Laying in we'll go over later. And the rally option which will call all members from that unit to return to the vehicle. Some commands are specific to certain type of units. For example, place ladder command is only on ladder companies. And we'll go over that in the ladder company operations video. Here we'll empty the vehicle of all of its members. We can select members by using the same method of click and drag. You can select one member or you can select multiple members. At times you can also hover your mouse over and simply click the member to select them. You can also select using the hotkeys on the top bar, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5 for their corresponding members, and if you press them again it will unselect them. You can press the zero key to select all members of a company. The members on the top bar will be of the last unit that you had selected or your active selection. You can take direct control of any member at any time by selecting them and hitting the take control button. And then you can release that member back to AI by pressing F2. You can also bring up the unit spawn menu and select any role to take over it from AI. You can press F2 again to release it. Apart from using the rally button, you can select members of a company and right click the unit when the enter vehicle icon shows up and the vehicle turns blue. To send a unit home, you can select it and hit the house icon, which is send the unit home, and that will send the unit back to its firehouse and put it back in service for another call. You can also hit the blue home icon on the minimap. This will return all units, all members back to their trucks, return all hoses, bring all the ladders back down, and basically pack everyone up and send everybody home with just one click. That concludes the very basics of the AI update. Tune into the next video for engine company operations. This will go over stretching hose lines and putting out fires. Thanks.